We turn to golf, and in Ruining continued the incredible start to her professional career as the Shanghai teenager won the Mitsubishi Heavy Industries Orient Masters by one stroke in Xiamen, Fujian Province, for her third straight title. So, as you can tell, amazing player, amazing talent at a young age. Let's see what she does so well. Some classic modern action with her swing, powerful. Hits at about 270 plus. If you look at the sequence and the angles, all great classic modern technique. Great setup, up the plane. Super strong position, slightly laid off with that short iron looking great. Great strong looking extension left arm, flat left wrist, sequence great. And if you look at how she uses the ground, how she uses her legs, uh, sort of reminiscent of McRoy, the way he's so good at controlling wedges, irons, and the driver. You see she's coming down this wedge shot approach, not pushing too hard off the ground at this point, trying to keep that club planing out to get the shaft as close to where it started as possible, which gives you that club face control. So as she goes through the right heel, it does come up eventually, but isn't jumping off the ground hard like when she's pushing to smash a driver out there. Now, if we move it up a little bit, seven iron, six iron length type shot, and we watch how the leg work is working here. You watch this right heel come up off the ground a lot sooner as she starts to create more force. Same great technique on the way back, right up the plane, hinging at the right time, keeping that wrist flat to control the club face angle there, perfect at the top. And then classic modern action, where everything's compressing downward getting ready to use all that stored energy as she comes into impact. And now there'll be a slight more of a push up off this back heel as she's getting more force into a mid iron. And then a different angle here, obviously with the driver, we can really see what happens with the leg action as she winds it back there. Huge turn lower body working with that sitting down left knee, left hip firing early and then, Right as she gets that club in delivery, position pushing super hard through the back leg, create all that force, like I said, much much like McElroy and a lot of great players do, and right on through. Powerful player, great technique, and we'll take a look at one more swing here and relate it a little bit to how it helps her putting. Current technique on tour is really on plane inside to inside, but certainly there's a Last few years, a lot of call to swing the club more and more left to try to control the club face and, of course, to control, you know, the fade versus a hook. Good players tend to hook. Bad players tend to slice. So as she's up this plane and back down, as she planes it out, right on track halfway down, perfect positionings, or positions rather. And as she comes through, that club is planing out great and swinging just enough off the plane this direction right down the target line to have a full free release in there, which is going to allow her to hit some draws and some fades. Some days she, you're going to lose some of those shots. You're going to lose some hooks in there get some shots to the left or maybe hang it open to the right. But that release when it's timed gives you that ability to really be a shot maker and curve the ball and move it right to left, left to right. It also creates an awesome release of the forearms as they come through as you can see there, that crossing of the arms at this point, which is excellent for your putting, believe it or not. If you're a putter that swings too hard left too often, and Tiger Woods found this out when he was working a lot on trying to swing left, it can really have an adverse effect on your putting. Now, when you're a player like Dustin Johnson and other players that hit fades, they've already worked that out, have the right kind of putter, and they work on their stroke in such a way that it, their swing doesn't affect their putting. But I like this idea of swinging with a full release because you can hit shots right to left, left to right, and it doesn't have that negative effect on a flat stick. So last year, a little pitch shot. We can see great technique as well in terms of sequence. You can just watch how the hips are leading, that little rotation right there. Feet flat on the ground, no dancing around with the feet. And that's classic technique. As she goes up, a little bit of hinge. Face dead square to the plane or looking possibly shut right here. And then pulling it through with the core and the hips rotating. Perfect technique. That's going to wrap it up for this video. Let's see if she can get that Odyssey putter rolling it true tomorrow and see what happens if she can make a few more birdies and come out with another win. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.